Hello and welcome everyone to this channel. My name is Kumar Saurabh and today in this video tutorial we will learn about Python SciPy sparse CSR matrix. Let's see what we are going to cover in this video. First we will know about Python SciPy sparse CSR matrix then python scipy sparse csr matrix dot after this python scipy sparse csr matrix python scipy sparse csr matrix shape at the end we will know about python scipy sparse csr matrix nng which is stand for non zero element Move to the first topic, python scipy sparse csr matrix. The function in the scipy sub package is scipy.sparse allows us to generate a CSR matrix which stands for a compressed sparse row matrix. The CSR matrix is appropriate if what we need is a matrix that can execute addition, multiplication, subtraction, matrix power and division. So here in this topic we will use a one approach to create a CSR matrix. The syntax of the method is as follows where the parameter d can be any matrix or any array values that we want to convert into CSR matrix. Let's take an example and understand how to create a CSR matrix. Import the required method or libraries. So here we are importing numpy as np. Then importing CSR matrix from the library scipy.sparse. Execute the code. After executing the code, create a new array using the method np.array or it is also called rank2 matrix. Execute the code. Now view the created matrix. Now to convert this matrix into a CSR matrix, pass this created matrix to a method CSR matrix and apply dot to array to view this matrix. Execute the code to know whether this matrix is a CSR matrix or not, just simply run the CSRM or the variable that you have created or that is a CSR matrix in your Jupyter notebook. Execute the code. As we can see in the output, this shows a compressed sparse row format, which means this matrix is a sparse matrix. This is how we create a CSR or compressed sparse row matrix using the method CSR matrix of Python SciPy. The next topic is python scipy sparse csr matrix dot. The python scipy sparse has a method dot to find the ordinary dot product of the csr matrix. So let's take an example and understand this. Import the required method or libraries. So here we are importing numpy as np. Then importing a sparse module from the library scipy. Execute the code. After this create a, an array for dot product using the method np.array with the three elements. Execute the code. Now create a csr matrix using the method csr matrix of the module is sparse. Execute the code. Now we are going to compute the dot product of uh, the CSR matrix and the array that we have created here. So pass that array to a method dot and apply this function on the matrix A which is the CSR matrix. Execute the code. As we can see the, in the output the dot product of the CSR matrix is a minus 2 0 and minus 1. This is how to create a dot product of a CSR matrix in python scipy. The next topic is python scipy sparse csr matrix shape. The method get shape can be applied to csr matrix to get the shape of the csr matrix. So let's understand this with an example. So here we are now not going to create a new matrix. We will use the same matrix that we have created in the in the previous topic. Now apply dot get method execute the code. As we can see the shape of matrix is a 3 by 3. Now let's take a, one of the matrix uh, that we have created in the previous or previous uh, topics. So that was a CSRM and apply get shape method execute the code. So that matrix uh, the shape of the that matrix was a 3 by 6. So this is how to get the shape of the CSR matrix. The next topic is python scipy CSR matrix NNG. NNG stands for non zero. So non zero elements are kept in several arrays via sparse matrix. Basically, NNG report the size of these arrays. So let's take an example and find the size of a non-zero element within the CSR matrix. Now import the required method or libraries. So here we are importing numpy as np and importing a sparse module from the library scipy. Execute the code. Now create a CSR matrix using the CSR matrix method of python scipy and view this matrix. Execute the code. Now at last apply NNG method on this matrix to know the size or the number of a non-zero element in this matrix. Execute the code. As we can see in the output, there is a five non-zero element that we can count here in matrix one, two, three, four, five. So this is how to know the size of a non-zero element within the CSR matrix using the method or we can call it attribute NNG. I hope that you have enjoyed video tutorial about Python SciPy CSR sparse matrix and learn about how to compute the CSR matrix or create CSR matrix and compute the dot uh, product of CSR matrix 
and know the shape of csr matrix so at last i want to say don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and thank you